Hi, it's Laurie at Positive Thanks Living. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll see that I make, I've been making these 60 of them to be exact, flashcards that are covered with encyclopedia pages from the 1890s that are so brittle and so, they, they're not, they don't hold their shape, they rip so easily. So I've been trying to find different ways to make use of them so they don't have to be thrown away. I've been covering them with paper napkins to do a tea and dessert junk journal. So here's an envelope that I made and this is an actual page. You see the idea. I have my three signatures ready with all the stuff that I'm going to put in and now I want to make some journaling cards and some pockets. So back to the drawing board. Here is a pocket that I made using one of these and into the pocket can go a tag. Or one of these, like this, could be used as a actual pocket in the tea journal, like this. Uh, let's find one that isn't on there, like this, see? So I just thought I'd show you some of the best practices for using crumbly paper and putting the napkins on. Because after 60 of these and a whole bunch of pages, I've kind of discovered what works best and what are oopses. <laughs> to make this more quick, I uh, yeah put together a few ahead of time. I take my page and fold it in half and glue it. So, and I'm using junk, uh, just glue stick. So once it's glued like this in half, I then cover it with the, the one ply of a paper napkin. Now this one is quite large and it works the best that I've found. Do you see how this will be the back eventually? The back and it'll be upside down. I start by putting it on here, so up the back, and then that's glued on. Then I fold it over. This, is, this will be the top of the pocket, and I want this most enclosed or, or strengthened. So then I glue the other side down and enclose the top of the pocket, like so, <laughs> right here. So this is both sides. This would be the front of the pocket. And like this one here. This is the front. Now this one I made a little different. I got it. I wanted something interesting. This one here is like the one I'm showing you. So to make a pocket, now this is much more stiff because it has basically three layers of glue. But because it's glue stick and not PVA glue, it has a matte texture. There's nothing shiny. So what I've done is using a water brush, one of these, and you could just use an old fashioned paintbrush, dip it in water. I just wet it and you can see how quickly it will tear. I don't want to get anything else wet. So I got a box from your creative studio. I was gifted a box of dessert. It was called Bake. So that's where I first got the idea of doing a tea and dessert journal because I've done a tea journal and it was fun. It was mostly with digitals. And uh, now I thought, well, let's see what I can do with these old papers. So it just gives me a nice ragged edge when I wet the napkin. Here we are. Now what I want to do is be able to have these creases. And I'll link below to a video that I watched from Gail Aganastelli making these. I like crafting along with her. She can talk and craft at the same time really well. 
And I think she made these from someone else, like a different craft crafter. She got the idea. As we all do, you know, we, we sort of pick up from others. And this is a variation on the envelope idea. Obviously, it doesn't have a upper flap. It just has the lower. Uh, and that's how easy it is, just like so. I kept all my little pieces. I have a whole bunch. I'm going to put a picture here so you can see. And uh, I'll do something with those too. And then it goes up like this. Now, if I don't like as much, I'll remove some. And the water is just like magic. It just pulls away so easily. Isn't that cool? And because I made this before, I, uh, it's completely dry. That's one thing I would suggest. When you use the glue stick, don't put it together right away. Let the glue underneath dry for an hour, two hours, maybe even overnight. So you don't in inadvertently glue things down that you don't want glued down. See, you can see the writing from the encyclopedia's pages through, but they're very sturdy now. You don't have a problem with, uh, what do you call it? Consi uh, yeah, they're, they're not going to give you a problem. <laughs> and I'm just closing this up here. This is art glitter glue I'm using for the integrity. That's the word I was looking for. And you have a pocket. made a bunch of the uh, cards that can go in there. See? Now this, these tags, these 60 of them that I made, they don't have any paper napkin on them. Some of the tags that I decorated, I put paper napkin on. Where's some more? Oh, here's some more um, of the pockets that I put extra napkin on to decorate. And here's a journaling card. And I put paper on the back. That's still that plain white napkin paper so you can write on it. I think this one has some too. One of them here has some. So very quickly, I'm gonna show you how I found the best way to adhere these pages to a three by six flash card. So of course I used up all the flash cards. <laughs> so I made myself a three by six card out of cardstock. So you don't need flash cards. You can just use cardstock. You could use packaging, uh, whatever you have around because it'll be completely covered. And you need a piece of the whatever paper you're using that's very brittle. Interesting, somebody left a note in there. Yeah, so this is 1890s and the paper is just falling out so we needed to take care of that. What I do using a glue stick and yes, you could use PVA glue. Someone suggested uh, using a sponge with PVA glue and just, uh, I'm gonna try her suggestion. For me right now, the uh, glue stick works best and I center it in the middle 
And you might think that I'm using too much glue, but I haven't had great experiences with glue sticks. So I realized that I haven't, where I live anyhow, been putting enough glue uh, on the paper. And you'll see the glue stick is purple, but it changes color to clear when it dries. I like this because it tells me where I've glued and where I haven't. And then I just roll it. You see? I'm trying to keep it as straight as possible. Fortunately, this has three columns, so I can try and make it straight. And then continue to glue. Being aware that I'm gonna cut here and I'm gonna cut here but I still want it to adhere on the cut sides. Rolling again. And if I'm slightly off, I have a little bit of wiggle room as long as I'm very careful because it will tear. And I'm, then I glue very carefully the edge so that I'm sure that the edge will stay down because that's what's showing when you finish rolling, like so, see? All right, so you end up with cards where the top edge shows and we like the little bit of a number and words and such, it looks nice. And I usually let this dry before I cut it for us right now, I'm just going to push down here and ideally I'll cut. Sometimes I use my uh, guillotine, guillotine as however you pronounce it. As it dries, it firms up, it's less flimsy. You see how I can sh still shake it? By the time it's dry, it's gonna be hard. Yeah. And then I cut the corners. I prefer a rounded corner. You, you know, obviously can make it work whichever way you choose. And you've used up a paper that would otherwise have been thrown away. And it's strong enough, stiff enough that it can work as a journaling card. So, is that cool? And that is me working with this encyclopedia paper. Anyhow, I am thinking that I'm going to put some of these, because there's so many, I'm not going to use them all, into my Etsy store. I might offer a decorated one along with some of the journaling cards if anybody is interested in having some themselves. Yeah, that'll be in there when this video shows. So take care. It's Laurie at Positive Thanks Living.